Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of the Let's Play series. In the last episode we got started on our world, we dropped some trees, went caving, did a bit of exploring, but most importantly we built our starter castle which I think is looking great. At the end of the last episode I put up a community poll for you guys to vote on what you want to see in the next episode. And you all voted for an enchanting setup and that's what we're going to do today. Let's go. So the first thing I want to do today is build up a little cow farm so we can get some leather to make some books. And there's a nice little spot just through here that I think will be... Yeah, this will be great. And it's already got cows. Hi, cow. Yeah, we've got a good amount of space here. I think what we could also do is maybe expand our wheat field just so we've got it nice and close. Now, when most people build a cow farm, they do a little something like this, which for our world is wrong. I'm hoping that we can make something that looks a little bit nicer and maybe fits the theme of our world a little bit more. Damn sheep. I think it'd be really good to have some sort of broken down wall. So from this side, the cows shouldn't be able to get out. And then on the outside, we can leave ourselves like little ways to get in. And we could have some sort of stones on the floor as well, so we can get out easily. But I don't think the cows should be able to get out. Hopefully. So yeah, I'm going to try to build this up all the way around here. And we'll make a nice little spot for the cows. Let's go. So here it is, as you can see I made this pretty nice looking entrance here, kind of like a broken down archway kind of thing. And as you can see I've carried on the broken down wall all the way around which I think is looking super nice. We've also got some uh, coarse dirt down here as well which I think just helps set the wall in the environment a little bit better. So I'm really happy with how this is looking. The next thing we got to do is get some cows in here, start breeding them up and I also want to get that big wheat field planted around here as well. I'll find a nice spot for that and we'll get that done. But first yeah, let's go find some cows. All right, here's a couple of cows. Come with me, excuse me. Come on, ladies. And a sheep too, why not? All right, welcome to your new home. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There we go. And I got a gate to put down. There we go. Okay, with these guys in the new home, it's time to get started on the wheat field. Let's do it. While this is being built up, I thought it would be a good time to talk about what it is we're gonna do next. And some of you may have guessed it already, we need a sugar cane farm. During the last episode, I kind of had a cool idea to put all our starter farms in a sort of dungeon under the starter castle. And I think that's what we're going to work on now. Right, here's the finished wheat field. I'm super happy with how this is looking. It's going to be really, really handy to have it right next to the cows. And I really like how it sort of blends in with the terrain as well. Super happy. Okay, we're back at the castle. And we need to find a good spot to dig down and put our dungeon. I think maybe in this corner could be a good spot. I think we'll just get rid of this. Maybe we can try and squeeze some sort of staircase in this corner. Okay, maybe we keep this too wide. Maybe we need to put a little archway in here. Maybe like a nice little wooden covering along here could be pretty cool. Yeah, I'm liking that. That fits. That fits well. Right, let's get this area dug out down here and we can start working on the farm. Right, we've got this area dug out now. If my calculations are correct, this should be the exact size we need. Probably not. Now we can head out here and start crafting the components that we need to build up this farm. Pistons, pressure plates, redstone torches, repeaters, redstone blocks, chests, hoppers, rails, powered rails, minecarts, hopper minecarts, now we just need a bunch of glass, so let me just go get that. While we're on the hunt for sand, I just want to give a big thank you to everyone for all the support on the first episode of the Let's Play. I had a really great time reading all the comments and seeing all your thoughts about the episode, seeing all your ideas. So if you do have any more, please feel free to let me know in the comment section. Or alternatively, you can join our community Discord. I'll leave a link in the description. But anyway, yeah, thank you so much again. I really appreciate you all. And it seems like we're about to be rudely interrupted. Yes, Bamboo. And cocoa beans, let's go. But yeah, ignoring that, we got the sand. Let's head back home. All right, we made it back home. All right, let's get the sand smelted up into glass. Embarrassingly, I don't really have much coal, so I'm gonna have to use logs. We have a little bit of coal though. All right, I'm gonna wait here for this glass and then we can crack on with a sugarcane farm. 
Now, as some of you may already know, I'm not really the best at redstone, but I've given this my best shot. I did think about checking out a few tutorials, but I thought I'm going to challenge myself and come up with my own design. There were some limitations though, as we've not yet been to the nether, we don't have any quartz, which means no comparators and no observers. So I had to try and figure out a way to trigger the farm at some random interval. I don't really know what I'm doing. So I made a little area for a chicken, brought it on down, and you should randomly step on the pressure plates and trigger the farm. And there you have it. That's the story of how I made the world's most inefficient sugar game farm. So yeah, here it is. I mean, it, it's working. I kind of AFK'd a bit, and we got, you know, a, a decent amount, a decent amount. The problem is this guy just keeps laying eggs on the pressure plates. I mean, you know, once we get quartz, we'll come back and improve this, that's for sure. But yeah, I think it's time to try and make this place look good. So let's get working on that. So I've gathered a whole bunch of materials. I think this should be good for what we need. So yeah, we'll head down here, and I think we can start just by ripping out the floor. Okay, now it's dark. Let's light this back up. I think what we'll do, we'll get like a mix of these three different stones in. And let's get a bit of coarse dirt in as well. Let's bring this into the farm as well. Alright, this is looking pretty good, but I think we can make it look a little bit more like a dungeon. By just tracking in some waterlogged stairs. Now on these corners here, I want to have polished andesite pillars, just to give a little bit of structure. Maybe chuck some little arches in here as well. I think that'd be really nice. Now for the walls, I want to chuck in a little bit of turf, but only around the bottom. Okay, looking good. And then for the rest of it, I think we just texture in a bit of the andesite and a bit of the cobble. Okay, it's looking a lot tidier now, but I've got to say, the roof is still looking pretty bad. And with all the stone, I think we need to incorporate a little bit of wood into the build just to give a bit of variety. I think I want to take it up one higher just so we've got a bit more room for detail. Right, so from here, I think we can bring some stairs. Try join these together. Try and make some sort of archway. Okay, let's also fit this in at the end as well. And this side. Right, now I just need to fill in these gaps. I think I'm going to go with trapdoors, stairs, trapdoors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's looking cool. I like that. And on this one, we're going to have to fill these holes in here. And we'll run stairs like that. Trapdoors. Then we'll dig this out and then put full blocks. Okay, this is looking cool. This is looking really cool. Let's try carry this theme on into the farm as well. I think we run these polished andesite stairs across. Slabs in these gaps. And then I think we'll go trapdoors. I think the last thing I want to do down here for today is to try and get some lanterns in. Alright, so here's the finished thing. I think it's looking pretty good. We've definitely got room to expand for future farms. So if you do have any ideas or things that you'd like to see down here, then do make sure to let me know. But with all that said and done, I think we have everything in place now to start making our bookshelves. We got our sugar cane. So now we can make our paper. And the next thing we're going to need is leather. Bah! And I'm hoping if I let a bunch of these cows free over here, they may offer me a bit of their leather in return. Yeah, yeah, definitely going to let them free. Look how generous they were. Thanks, cows. And the last thing we're going to need is a bunch of wood, so let's get chopping. Alright, so now we've got our wood, we can do this, we can make a bunch of books, and now 29 bookshelves, okay, I'm going to make them all, you could probably use the spares as decoration. Right, the next thing we're going to need is an enchanting table, and for that we're going to need obsidian, and to get obsidian we need a diamond pick, so first diamond pick, let's go. Right, let's head down into the mine and we can grab some of that obsidian. I forget how deep the well goes now. Catches me off guard every time. Ah, uh, here we are. Lava. Alright, we got the obsidian. Let's get out of here. Man, I really need some stairs in here. Alright, we're back home. Let's craft this enchanting table. And... Boom. Alright, we've got everything we need for our enchanting setup. Except a place to put it. And I got something in mind. 
Let's go. So here it is, the finished enchanting tower. I thought we'd take a little look around in shaders as well. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this came out. I think it fits the starter castle really well. But let's head inside and take a closer look. I really, really like this angle from inside the courtyard. It kind of makes it feel a bit more like closed in and cozy. But yeah, let's take a look at the actual interior. And as you can see, I've set up the enchanting table, all ready to go. But I think it's time to do our first enchantment. I'm not even gonna look, I'm just gonna enchant our diamond pick. It's the only thing we got to enchant. Let's go. Are we ready? 43 efficiency. I'm super happy with that. I mean, unbreaking would have been nice, but efficiency 3? I'm absolutely taking that. And on that note, guys, I think that's what we're going to call it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!